Hey everybody, welcome to FDIC 2023. I'm Sam from High Vis Lighting and the FireTech brand. And this is the new FireTech Omen warning light bar. This is what we've been teasing all week, talking about launching here at the show. If you're here, come by and check it out. And if you're not, I'm gonna run through all the tech here in this video to show you how this thing lays out. I'm gonna start with mechanical and design. This is the physical side of things. Then I'll talk about some of the really cool software we baked into this thing and the updatable functionality that lets you make sure this thing never ends up obsolete. As I was thinking about how to design the light bar of the future, I wanted to come up with kind of what were the list of problems we had to solve. And if you go back in time, you think about, uh, who was it, Thomas Edison or Albert Einstein? He used to talk about if he had an hour to solve the world's most difficult problem, he would spend 55 minutes thinking about it and five minutes solving it. And so it took us four years thinking about what are all the things we could do better. And then it was just this natural solution that over the last few months we were able to put together, develop, and now release with the FireTech Home and Light Bar. The problem we solved was water accumulation in light bars occurs because it's a giant lid over top of an extruded base that then ends up having a big cavity where water can accumulate. And if it's got all these interconnecting parts for different sizes, those are all gasket interfaces that could allow for water to accumulate inside the fixture. And so as we started thinking through what are the better ways to do it, we looked at our tech that's more like the BG2 lighting system, which is modular, and we developed a modular warning light bar that bases on an exoskeleton that's kind of this extruded frame, and then you just slide modules on. These are any color modules, red, green, blue, amber, or white. They attach to the light bar on this exoskeleton frame, and you just choose your length. You don't have to have this lid that attaches to the bottom where you configure your modules. You just add the modules on the fixture, you stick it on the truck and send it down the road. It makes it way faster, way easier, and it eliminates the capability or the capacity of the light bar to hold water because it's like a bucket without a bottom. And one of the other cool things is that if you look on top of this light bar, that right there is a Hostler HA5 transmitter. So that allows you to enable digital alerting. And what's really cool is we modified our Hivis Connect protocol to communicate directly with the Hostler Safety Cloud and directly with their tech so that we can transmit things like traffic is moving to the left, traffic is moving to the right, or we want traffic to move to the left or to the right, or things like when the EMAS is on, or even enable things like software updates that go directly to the fixture. You just either grab the HA5 and bolt it to the top of the bar, or you incorporate the one that's already on your truck just over at the Hivis Connect protocol. It's a single wire interface, you connect to the thing and you're in good shape. So this exoskeleton based design allows us to attach multiple fixtures and items to the exterior or to the exoskeleton of the fixture. The other cool thing is here, you'll see this is the FireTech brow light and it's got this thing called a J-foot and the J-foot slides up in our mounting track and allows you to attach any size brow light directly to the front of the fixture and it's a seamless integration between warning lights and seam lights. So the hardware is pretty cool because it allows us to make almost any size fixture, but the software is what makes that hardware useful. It's almost like one of your modern connected autonomous vehicles that can download a software update overnight. The car we drive, it got a self-driving feature over Thanksgiving and the next morning, boom, I had all the functionality. This thing is designed to receive software updates very similarly. So if you're building a fire truck today, you can add any feature we release over the next three years before your truck is built to the fixture the day it delivers. Now, some of the cool things are the center row of this light bar is red, green, blue, amber, or white. I'll show you a couple options here. This thing can be configured to be any color <laughs> and it matches my shoes, which I think is fun. But the honest truth is, this is just a demo to show you all the different colors that center row can be. The top row is designed to be more like your E-Master. So this comes on as a red, white flash on the middle row. The upper rows are your primary red circuits. If you're in a state that allows for blue, you can just add blue to the fixture. Boom, now you're able to control this thing in any color, in any configuration. If you wanna be able to call for something like command on demand, let's like say you get on scene and now you're the incident commander, hit a button, the whole truck, anything that's got a green circuit on board, turns green and it lets you be the incident commander. You can integrate this thing in with our BG2 system and some of the lighting tech that we build with traffic directors. Here's a center out. I can show you a traffic left and a traffic right. It's all built into the same fixture. We do responding modes. We can, once we get on scene, we can do a park mode that has something called a soft flash, which is a flash that goes from zero to 100 and back to zero. It allows you to do it kind of at a ramping rate that can be defined. So you can make this thing do really kind of soft nighttime modes. It's got a lot of really cool features built in. Now, one of the questions we get asked all the time is how many flash patterns does it have? And in order to answer that question, you kind of have to break down what a flash pattern is. And what we've got is seven core building blocks that can be designed like almost like imagine a piece of music. It's got a bunch of different frames. You can put one flash pattern next to another flash pattern next to another flash pattern, whether it's a single flash and a double flash. You can use these seven building blocks to control or to design whatever flash pattern you want. You can set any speed, you can set any intensity, and these things are designed to be super configurable, but also have constraints around them so that you don't end up creating a flash pattern that's non-NFPA compliant. The truck knows how many modules are on it, how bright each of those modules are, and which colors you've chosen, and it gives you the ability to modify all of your flash patterns within the NFPA 
guidelines of speed, rate, intensity, and that sort of stuff. So it's really cool, it's super configurable. There are literally thousands of combinations you can make, but it ships with a default standard flash pattern that I can show you here on the truck. So there's the emergency master response mode. This is the default pattern, and from here you can configure whatever you want. There will be a Bluetooth app. Every fixture in the new HVC range and the Omen Light Bar all have a Bluetooth chip on board. So you can communicate with all the different fixtures. You can set things like flash patterns and modes. You can enable functions like digital alerting, vehicle to vehicle synchronization, all the stuff you're used to from a variety of manufacturers in the lighting space, we now do, but it's specific for full-size fire trucks. It's not a secondary electrical system on top of a patrol car electrical system. This is a light bar designed for a fire truck cab by firefighters that's gonna help keep you safe after dark.